Sasalak Mayor and Gunas Mayor The Bajamim cultural landscape in southwest Victoria includes evidence of one of the world's largest and oldest aquaculture systems. The Bajabim cultural landscape is located on the Bajabim lava flow, which was the result of a volcanic eruption of Bajabim, Mount Eccles, approximately 30,000 years ago. The extensive collection of wetland swamps and sinkholes located in the lava flow provided an ideal habitat for eels and other fish. By manipulating the seasonal flooding through the creation of stone channels and weirs, Gunditjmara people were able to farm large quantities of the migrating short-finned eel while maintaining a sustainable eel population. We've been working on a World Heritage nomination for more than 10 years. Some well-known examples of places on the World Heritage list include Uluru, the Great Wall of China, the pyramids in Egypt and the Statue of Liberty in the US of A. To be included on the World Heritage List, a site must, number one, demonstrate outstanding universal value. This is a world value. Uh, outstanding universal value means a cultural significance which is exceptional and to be of common importance for present and future generations of all humanity. The outstanding universal value of the Budjabim cultural landscape is Evidence of one of the world's oldest known aquaculture systems, which was constructed at least 6,600 years ago. We have constructed and maintained this extensive and technologically sophisticated aquaculture system on the Budjabim lava flow. To be also included on the World Heritage List, the site must meet at least one of ten selection criteria. For example, criteria three, to bear a unique or at least exceptional testimony to a cultural tradition. Or to a civilisation which is, which is living. The Budjbim cultural landscape bears exceptional testimony to the knowledge and ingenuity of the Gunditjmara people in the creation of an eel aquaculture system that has endured for at least 6,600 years. A report in 1893 by Alexander Ingram, a government surveyor, reads in part, by the channels formed by the Aborigines for fishing and trapping eels and trout, these channels have been made by removing loose stones and portions of the more solid rocks between the ridges. Much of the Budjabim lava flow has not been cleared of vegetation and the fish trap systems are still in remarkably good condition. Another of the criteria is have a and an adequate protection and management system to ensure its safeguarding. At present, a team of nine Budjabin rangers manage, conserve and protect the cultural and natural values of Gunditjmara owned properties along the Budjabin lava flow. The Budjabim cultural landscape also contains evidence of permanent settlement associated with the aquaculture systems. There are many stone houses recorded along the lava flow. We also have a number of smoking trees where eels were smoked and, and then traded. These sites are found nowhere else in Australia. On one property alone there is 146 recorded stone house sites. In March 2015, an independent review of our nomination found that the Budjbim cultural landscape is a site of international significance. The site is suitable for World Heritage nomination in the evolved cultural landscape category. The three criteria that are identified are strongly justified. 